Nerves are really jangling now. Just four teams left in the FA Cup. And the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final here at Wembley. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to Wembley Stadium here in London. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we have action from the semi-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Brighton versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, semi-finals are usually tense affairs. The winners can look forward to a great occasion in the final. The losers are completely forgotten. The contrasting emotions is immense. Let's hope it's a semi-final that everybody remembers. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, what a performance it was for him last time out. Those three goals were absolutely outstanding. But it was his general performance that I admired, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him today. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And Bout Beghorst is the striker. The match is underway. Shaw. Now with Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Luke Shaw. Wants to attack from the wide areas. Can he do it? He needed to get there and did. Oh, surely. Able to close down the shot. One block after another. Pascal Gross. And attempting the through ball. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Shaw. Marcus Rashford. This is Varane. Diogo Dallo. An alert intervention. Gross. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And there it is! The first goal in the semi final. A huge moment. Extraordinary scenes. Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Veghorst is showing a real will to win the ball.
Fred. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And space to cross it. And miles off target with the header, but in fairness, the marking was tight. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Fred. Beckhorst. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. All hands on deck. And still looking for space. Rashford. Can they square the game? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. The stats tell us Brighton have been second best in terms of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Shaw. Regained possession. This looks interesting. Fred with it. Bruno Fernandes. And there to intervene. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. Fred. Undav. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Joel Feldman. Rose. And the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Casemiro. Perfect challenge. Lalana. Lisandro Martinez. Anthony. Oh, they've given him too much space. And at the far post, it's Marcus Rashford. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Here's a change for Manchester United. So the corner played into the box. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Rashford. Well read to ease the pressure. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Fred. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. On to Bruno Fernandes, making sure nothing came of it. Fred, and he's through here. 
And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. And the substitution will occur now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And good pressure high up the pitch. Rafael Varan. It's with Martinez. Diogo Dalo. Marcel Zabitza. And United couldn't keep possession. Caicedo. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. And that pass could be troublesome. Defensive excellence there. It's going to be United's free kick. And they will make the change now. Well, the free kick fired too close to the goalkeeper. March. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Just ten minutes remaining here. On the attack in the closing phase. This could level it. Oh, it's in! Can you believe it? Back on level terms. And the dream of making the final is very much alive again. Incredible! Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Joel Feldman on the offensive is there to be late excitement well it came to nothing in the end but it comes down to the final five minutes intercepting it intelligently breaking at pace Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Dangerous looking attack. United being afforded too much space. Can they forge ahead? They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. Now with McTominay. And quite simply, wide of the target.
What a shame, really, because the move was promising, but no end product from them. Malassia. Bruno Fernandes has it. And now, passing it through. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Welbeck. Mitoma. And space here on the flank. Crossing possibilities. Simple for the keeper. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. He's in behind. Keeper did his job to begin with. Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. He's given it straight to the opposition. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. And waiting here is Danny Welbeck. Wasted chance, easy for the goalkeeper. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. He has time to play it over. Takes aim! Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he saved his team there. That's a big moment for the keeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. And he failed to get it away properly. But Tomanay. Can he put them in front? Splendid defending. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, th well, that was the so-called Panenka. But when it doesn't work out, oh dear. And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. Can he convert? And he's denied them from the spot. And there it is, perfectly executed. And he scores! His turn to try to convert from the spot. Oh, he saved it! Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. Superb placement there. Almost intolerable pressure. in front of goal well this could be the one
and he finishes from the spot. What a moment to take his team through to the final. Well, what a test of character for him, but he shows so much conviction, doesn't he? What a finish to this semi-final. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting him to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty.